Hi guys, uh, my name is Peter Darling. Today we're going to be looking at the C7 chord. So it's just C, E, G, and B flat. All these seven chords are called dominant sevens, which means you have a major chord here, okay, C major in this case, and then a flatted seven on top. So it's just one, exactly one step down from the root, which is B flat. And it's, uh, it works on like the fifth degree of a scale. So in this case, if you're in F major, F, G, A, B flat, C, one, two, three, four, five, where C is the fifth degree of the scale, it'll typically go from, it'll resolve from there to the root to the first degree, which is five, seven chord, or a dominant seven, will go typically to the root, which is a, in that key, which is a key of F. Bum, bum. So we have C, E, G, B flat, going to an F major, which is C, F, and A. Now what I like to do is rearrange these chords a little bit sometimes. So in this case, I'm gonna take the fifth of the chord, of the C7 chord, which is G, the seventh, B flat, the root C, third e, uh, e, and I'm gonna take that and then bring it up there to the, uh, to the one chord. So it's a five seven, which is C7, and then the F, which is A, C, and F, F major. So, bum, bum. How this works is kind of something like this. So it's F, C, B, C, C sharp, C, five, seven chord, C seven, one chord, or the F chord. There you have it. All right, guys, great job today. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, remember uh, also to send your request to requests at mahalo.com. Um, and also check us out on Facebook and uh, look for our new and exciting uh, upcoming videos we have going on. So um, look forward to seeing you next time. 